Come on, Petrachek. You can do it. The grandest stage. It's Deportivo. It's Petrachek. It's Ricardinho. What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan. Oh, welcome to episode 26 of Project Pompey. We've started off the season pretty well, to be honest with you. We are in third place in the league. Okay, we're five points off the top of the table, but we didn't want to be top of the table. We just want to be in a Champions League place. I will look at the schedule since you last left us. And we've won the games we've expected to win and lost the games we've expected to lose, really. We did beat Spurs 2-1 with Yaya Torre and Van Persie grabbing two first-half goals. A shock 1-0 win at Anfield. Yakubu grabbing an 85th minute winner off the bench. He, he did well. He's restored some faith in me off the bench. We beat West Ham in another thriller. We had the Gilliam thriller, which we drew for all, but we beat West Ham 5-4. It's We're just getting stupid games at the moment. We drew with Gilliam 4-4. We beat West Ham 5-4. We had a hat-trick from Yaya Torre and James Milner grabbing two goals. Matty Taylor sent off, and then that's when they started scoring some goals, but, you know, we, we got the win. That's the main thing. We did lose 2-0 to Man United, though. Torres grabbing two goals. It's a sad times, my friends, when in this timeline, Fernando Torres is a Man United player. But we did kick off our Europa League group with a 1-0 win over Hertha Berlin. I'm not sure if we've shown the Europa League group off yet, but we've got Hertha Berlin. We beat them 1-0, Yakubu grabbing the winner. We beat Fulham 2-1, Mondgast, Penson and Bozhinov grabbing the winner there. And we almost beat Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. We did feel a bit of a weakened team, but we did go out on penalties so we will be showing off Charlton and Deportivo La Coruña and speaking of the Europa League group that is the group we have Deportivo, Portsmouth, Hertha Berlin and Hearts Deportivo are a hard team they are a big team in this save so we do have to be very careful of them we've already beaten Hertha Berlin I think we can beat Hearts as well so I think we can get out of this group but can we make the semi-finals once again we will be playing top of the table Deportivo later today. But we start the game or we start the episode with a game against Charlton Athletic who are in 16th place in the league. And in fact, before we look at that, we've only got, well, we've got a few less players that are unhappy now. A lot of the players have moved on. They've gotten over it. It's only Messi that's kind of still a bit unhappy, but I think in a couple of days he should be okay because Inter have withdrawn their interest. And then we had the UEFA Cup squad, which Mike Hank and De Groot did miss out on, so they're a bit unhappy as well. But a lot of the big players, like Yaya Torre, Yakubu, are now happy at the club. And we're going to try and push forward with the team that we have. We do start at Charlton. So we are third place against 16th. And this is the lineup for that game. We've got Petr Cech in goal. Matty Taylor, Juan, Steidl and Lahm at the back. Yaya Torre, Modric and Nolan in the middle. Van Persie, Yakubu and Lionel Messi start up front. So this has got to be a warm-up for the Deportivo game. We need to get a good result in to try and make sure we get a result against Deportivo. So I'm going to give a, a passionate, put on a worthy display. They're all motivated. They're all happy. I'm going to move the radar back down because it keeps edging a little bit closer up after each episode. But we're going to get the game underway. We are at home. We are at Fratton Park. It is Portsmouth against Charlton. 12 minutes in, it's Steidl with a free kick. Finds Messi, the assist king. Lovely curling ball to Matty Taylor. Crosses it for Yakubu. It's a save by Rob Green. Early chance for Portsmouth. And looking at the shots, it's all Portsmouth right now. So we are destined to set up for a first shot, first goal against Charlton Athletic. But that is the first shot. And it's not a first goal. Yaya Torre free kick just after the last one. Oh, it's off the line. Steidl doesn't do much. Penalty. It's a free kick to Charlton. Corner, 19 minutes in. Messi whips it in. It goes all the way back to Nolan. Are we going to try again? One from the back. Shoots. Finds Van Persie. Goes down. Penalty ref. That's got to be a penalty. Lucas Neal brings down Van Persie. It is a penalty. And Yaya Torre should be the one to step up here. 
to put this away for 1-0. He does, and it's 1-0 to Portsmouth against Charlton. Yaya Torre grabbing the goal, and the early pressure from Portsmouth does pay off. And we do grab the first goal of the game. Puts it in the top corner. Goalie's not getting there. And we're 1-0 up 20 minutes in. 26 minutes throw in from Philippe Lam. Modric finds Nolan. Little 1-2 between them. Keeping it in the midfield. Long ball to Matty Taylor. He's dangerous on the left. Cuts inside to Yakubu. It's in. I'm not quite sure how. Because that looked like a really weak shot. Was there a deflection involved in there maybe? We'll soon find out on the replay. So Nolan whips it out wide to Taylor. Taylor crosses at Yakubu. Ah, oh, it's got to be the flex off the defender, surely. It's confused the goalkeeper. But it doesn't matter to me. We're 2-0 up. 33 minutes. Yaya Toys picked up a bruised ankle. Probably going to sub him off half-time. Because I would like him fit for the Deportivo game. But bruised ankle's normally a few days. So it's going to be touch and go whether he makes it. But a long ball. Yakubu chases onto it. It's 3-0 to Portsmouth. And the goals are still flying in. And we are 3-0 up within half an hour. Lovely cutting ball from the back. Who was it? Steidel, as it may be. Yeah, it is Steidel. Lovely ball. Finds Yakubu and he absolutely buries it in the corner. We're 3-0 up. This is a very good warm-up for the Deportivo game. 39 minutes in. Just five minutes to go before half-time. Messi on the ball. Finds Nolan. Finds Matty Taylor again on the left. He is so dangerous on the left. But it is cleared away as far as Van Persie. Taylor again. Deflected to Messi. It is 4-0 to Portsmouth. And Messi gets himself on the score. She only is second goal of the season. But he's the assists king. But he's shown he can score some goals when he needs to. Matty Taylor again involved in the play. Van Persie finds Taylor. Crosses it. It's, a, oh, it's an awkward deflection from the defence. And Messi is ready to pounce to make it 4-0. I think I can dial it back to positive now. I don't think we need to go attack it anymore. We've got four goals. And we are going to half-time looking very comfortable against towards the bottom end of the table, Charlton, who are now in the relegation zone. So I'm going to give a, a passionate, very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. I am going to sub Yaya Torre off. We'll bring on Milner for him to play Mazella. I am thinking ahead, though. I am thinking ahead to the Deportivo game. So I'm going to bring on Kiss Norbo on for Taylor as well. Just to give him a rest so he's ready and fish. Fi ready and fish? Fit and fresh for the Deportivo game. Fall it up. Surely we can't throw this away now as Nolan puts it over the bar. Almost made it five. 64 minutes, Modric whips it in from a corner. Headed away as far as Milner. Kevin Nolan! It's a lovely save from Rob Green. He is trying his best to keep it under four goals. Is that going to be the case? Clear off the line, but no goal. Kevin Nolan with a free kick, 71 minutes. Milner with a header, off the post. And we are still trying to find goals. I think what we'll do, we're going to make our sub. 77 minutes. We'll make our sub. Who's going to come off? Who do I want fit and ready to go for Deportivo? Modric's on 73. Kevin Nolan's on 74. So I'm going to bring Nolan off for Morton Gamps Pedersen. We'll swap him and Milner around. So that's all three subs made. I think we should see this out for all three points. As we get a goal kick from Petr Cech to one. Pedersen's just come on. Van Persie, bit of a quiet game for Van Persie, but he has been involved in the plays. Gets it wide to Messi. Larm's on the overlap. And Larm kind of goes back to where he was. But Juan now, Portsmouth have got all these players looking for positions. Plays it long to, uh, to Larm. Larm wins it, but then gives the ball straight back to Charlton. Oh, Charlton going to grab a consolation goal. Or oh, we're going to keep it out. I would like a clean sheet. Francis Jeffers, though, and Petr Cech with a save. He is keeping a clean sheet today. Come up to full time. We did the damage in the first half. Messi's going to whip one in. 15 seconds to go. And that's a free kick to Charlton. We did the damage in the first half. We struck them. 
in the first half and we've done so well and that is a brilliant warm-up for Deportivo 4-0 to Portsmouth and give a passionate a very nice victory well done and that is going to keep us up in third place I believe Yaya yeah, Toy's out for three days so it's a race against time whether he's going to be fit enough for Deportivo I can say Yakubu was good in front of goal and looking at that league table, we are still in third place. We are still just wanting a Champions League place after we so narrowly missed out last season. But we are in good place to do that. And it's still early doors, though. Anything can happen. We've only dropped, well, two games. We lost one and drawn one. So, yeah, we are up there. We are on target. But we do need to keep up that momentum. But we're going to focus back on the Europa League now as we go up against top of the league, or top of the table, Deportivo La Coruña. I think this is probably going to be our second hardest game behind the away game we go, when we go out to Spain. So can we get one over Deportivo La Coruña? Messi to stay at Portsmouth. Inter have withdrawn their interest. They're looking elsewhere. He's expected to remain a Pompey player. And we should hopefully look forward to a few more years of Lionel Messi at Portsmouth. A quick scout of Deportivo La Coruña, our opponents today. And yeah... They've got a pretty good team. They've got a 23-year-old Daniel Alves, a winner with Barca, Juventus, PSG. He's still playing in real life, but he's only 23 years old, but he looks like a really good right back. If it wasn't the fact we had Philippe Lahm in our team, I would love to have Daniel Alves at Portsmouth. They've got Ricardo Carvalho. they got Ricardinho. they got Nabil Taider from Aston Villa. Oh, we got to get revenge on him. He screwed us over last year. Diego Tristan and... F Look at that strike force. Diego Tristan and Patrick Clivert. A 30-year-old Patrick Clivert. What a player he is. He's come from Barcelona. We're going to watch out for him. An elite-level striker. They've got Dida. They've got Albert Luque. They've got Uche. Wasn't he at Aston Villa? He was Aston Villa. We just got Aston Villa players coming back to try and haunt us. So they've got a fair few good players. We've got to watch out for them in this game. So the only tactical change I've made is that Yaya Torre is not fit enough to make the team. But he will make the bench. And Morton Gamps Pedersen is going to come in for him. Other than that, I'm sticking with the same players that beat Charlton 4-0. In the hope that you know we're going to bring that momentum into this European game. But that is the team they're going for. Michel Bastos, Van Boyten, Cavallio. You know, they got Diego, Tristan and Clivet. They've got a very good team. So I'm going to, say, I'm going to give a passionate... Uh, no, I'm going to give an assertive. Go out there and carry on where you finished in the last match. Bring your form into this game. And can Portsmouth get a win over Deportivo La Coruña. I think they made the quarterfinals of the Europa League last year. We made the semi-finals. So two big teams in this game. But who is going to be top of the Europa League group? Six minutes in, Van Boyten starts to move off for Deportivo. Ricardinho goes wide to Dani Alves. We all know what Dani Alves can do. Carrillo crosses it in. Tristan's there. Crosses it for Diego and Petr Cech keeps it out with one hand. Six minutes in. We are hanging on to this game. It's all Deportivo. One gives away a penalty. Possibly. Maybe. Going to the man on the television, the VAR. It could very well be a penalty here to Deportivo. They have started off strong. Four shots, two on target. We're only nine minutes in. They've got the possession as well. Is he going to give it? He has confirmed the decision. Come on, Petr Cech. You can do it. The grander stage. It's Deportivo. It's Petr Cech. It's Ricardinho. It's a goal for Deportivo. Rick Ricardinho does put it in. Not the best of starts from us, if I'm being honest. I mean, they are a good team. I'm not saying they do have some really good players. But we do go 1-0 down. We need to pick ourselves right back up and get back into this game. 23 minutes. I've just shouted demand more. Pedersen, it goes away. But Luka Modric passes it back to Pedersen. Can he whip it in again? He can. Yakub with the header. It's 1-1. We are back in the game. 
24 minutes in, and Yakubu scored his third goal of this episode. As we do get this back on track, Pedersen on the wing there takes his time, whips it in. Yakubu between the defenders. The goal he can't get there. It is Portsmouth 1, Deportivo 1. Another corner, Pedersen 29 minutes. Again, it's cleared away. Are we going to get a carbon copy of the last goal? No, we're going to go the other way. Yakubu, the goal scorer, long cross from him. Messi's in the box, crosses it for Van Persie, it's 2-1. We have taken the lead and we have linked up well there. Two corners have resulted in two goals for Portsmouth. Modric switches the flanks. Yakubu brings in the defender, it's a long cross. The defender doesn't even see Messi. Messi uses his vision to find Van Persie and we were 1-0 down. But now we are 2-1 up. It's another corner. Pedersen whips it in. Clean away again. They're good at clearing it. But we're getting the ball back very easily. But Juan de Steidel. Playing as far back as the defence though. So we are backtracking a little bit. Pedersen tries to cross it. But it is blocked. And now Deportivo. They try to counter. But it's blocked again. Back and forth. Long highlight here. Diego tries to find Tristan, heads it on, but Steidel gives it to Nolan, little one-two. Philippe Lam, it is a long highlight. Yakubu, I can see Persa making the run, finds Messi. Messi, inside, beats his man, Messi shoots. We almost had a little Messi trademark goal. 37 minutes in, Persa to Taylor. We're starting to pick things up a bit now, but we do lose the ball. But Yakubu picks it out. Messi got some space. It's in the goal. Pinpoint precision gets us our third goal. And Deportivo, after scoring the penalty, have really crumbled under the pressure. Pedersen lost the ball, but they did a really cheap back pass. Yakubu finds him, and Messi's got so much room. He picks out the corner. The goalie did flap at it a little bit, but I don't care about that. Portsmouth 3. Deportivo 1 as we do go into half time we did start a little bit poor but we did come back after the penalty and we do find ourselves 3-1 up against Deportivo we have got a good team I think we've got a Champions League calibre team but I'm going to give an assertive don't get complacent things can change at any minute Yakubu is a bit, uh, bit hesitant but going to keep things the way they are don't fix what's not broken as we do find ourselves 3-1 up against Deportivo, we just need to hang on to top the group. 57 minutes, Pedersen with the throw. Yakubu loses the ball to Tristan though, and they are going to lump it forward on the counter. But Matty Taylor is there to cut it out. He tries a long ball for himself. Pedersen with a shot! And it's tipped round the post. It's a goal kick. 68 minutes, was just about to make a sub, but Pedersen with a throw. Gets it back, crosses it in. Saved by the goalkeeper. But what are they going to do from this? They're going to start from the back. Taking his time. Goes route one. But Clive heads it on. But Matty Taylor's there all day. And he's going to ping one forward. Oh, Yakubu gave up the run though. Laurenti. Always been a bit uh, bit thing in the back. you got to be careful when Yakubu's sniffing around there. He will pounce. Carrillo now, though, for Deportivo. Gives a straight to Pedersen. Portsmouth on the counter. Messi finds Van Persie. Is he going to cross it? He does. Messi with the header. Off the line, but he gets the rebound. It's 4-1 to Portsmouth. We have scored, what, eight goals in this episode? We are on fire. Somebody needs to put us out. Messi starts the move. Van Persie takes his time, crosses it, headers it off the goalkeeper, gets the interception. It is all Portsmouth. We are 4-1 up against Deportivo La Coruña. Let's make some subs. Luka Modric, you're on 76%. You're on a buck in. We're going to bring you off. We're going to bring on James Milner for you. I'm going to move you and Nolan near the side of each other. Apart from that, I'm happy with the way the squad is. I'm going to bring on Kiss Noble for Taylor again as he's looking a bit tired. But yeah, 4-1 up. 83 minutes, we've got 7 minutes to go. Unless we catastrophically throw this away, we should be topping our Europa League group. 
Milner tries to find Yakuba, but it is cut out. Clive it now. Finds Tristan. Finds a little one-two to Tider. Not Tider. Tider heads it over the bar. That's what you get from being on loan from Aston Villa. Shoots it over the bar. 87 minutes. Five minutes to go, roughly included injury time. And Deportivo, since they scored their penalty, have absolutely collapsed. Messi again tries to play Nyakubu. Gets there the second time. And it was intercepted at the very last minute. We were almost in again. We really have ripped them apart this game. We've had so many chances to score. And we've been very clinical in both of the games this episode. But Van Persie to Yakubu. I see the run there. Chris Nobo again. Finds Van Persie. Crosses it to Messi. It's 5-1. Messi is on form today. Him and Yakubu are on form in this episode. And we have destroyed Deportivo 5-1. And again, the inside forwards making a nuisance of themselves. Messi had the room. Gets it near post. 5-1 to Portsmouth. As we will see the rest of this game all together. Deportivo, they started so well. And they just absolutely collapsed. I thought when that penalty went in, I was like, oh, here we go. We're going to throw this away. But the boys have turned up. Larm with a rash challenge. You need to be a bit careful, Larm. You're on a bucket. You don't want to be going in rash like that when we're 5-1 up. Don't need to. You know, if they score a second goal, they score a second goal. We're still 5-2 up. But Tristan shoots it over the bar. And we're just waiting for that final whistle. We've still got about another 40 seconds to go. And the boys have been really good today in both of the games we've had on camera. One against Charlton. The other against Deportivo. And as I mentioned, I, we are a good team. It's just that I think recently on camera, we just seem to be losing all the time. Especially to Aston Villa. But I'm very happy. The boys have turned up. they followed the tactics. They've done well. We've exploited the space behind the defence. We've done well to get one up over them. We're just waiting for the final whistle now. Yakubu, there it is. There is the final whistle. Portsmouth 5, Deportivo 1. And I'm going to give a very passionate, very pleased with the performance. Very happy. And our next game is against Aston Villa. So good job we are in form at the moment. 5-star Portsmouth triumph against Deportivo. Messi leaves Portsmouth fans peering after a fine display. He scored a hat-trick. I didn't realise it was a hat-trick. Lilo Messi, get in there. So looking at the Europa League group, we're in a strong position after two games with the only team with six points from six. So our next game will be against Hearts. So we need to make sure we keep up that momentum and get out of the group. So looking at the schedule, I think we'll come back for... We'll jump ahead quite a bit. We'll come back for Hertha Berlin and Southampton. Because we haven't shown Southampton off in a while. They are our local rivals. So we do need to show them off every now and then. So we're going to show off against Hertha Berlin and Southampton. So the game's going to miss out on is Villa. I really hope we beat Aston Villa. Aston Villa leads Hearts in the UEFA Cup. A bit, of a, a bit of a rough two games there against Chelsea and Arsenal with Hearts on the return leg. Newcastle and Man City. So we do have some tough games coming up in the league when you come back to us. We're going to have to play Chelsea, Arsenal, Newcastle and Man City. So we should have a good idea when you come back where we are as far as Champions League qualification goes. So I'll leave you with the league table. We are in third place. Eight games played. 19 points on the board. We've got Chelsea. We've got Arsenal. We've got Man City and Newcastle to play. So it's going to be a bit of a tough run when you come back. But we've had two really good games today. Fills me with confidence that we're going to qualify for the Champions League. But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We upload Project Pompey every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. And tune in next time for the Battle of the South Coast as Portsmouth take on Southampton. Thank you very much for watching.